Well, welcome. I'm Jason with RVs Off Grid, and I'm gonna be showing you an installation that we did about a year ago on my dad's 2019 Bounder. And so, this, so we got our uh, solar panels up there. They run down to this wire on-off breaker. Okay. So I always like using inline fuses for our, uh, for our solar up there. So inline fuse is something that just connects to our MC4 connectors. It's a 30 amp fuse. Anything crazy goes on with our solar panels, it just protects uh, protects our solar panels, protects our equipment down here. So from up there, it runs PV switch. So from our PV switch, it actually goes over to our charge controller. Now this is a 24 volt system. So, th so there's benefits of using a 24 volt system efficiency, and you can get away with using one charge controller. So, so then from here, it goes over to our Lynx Power In, and I love, absolutely love Victron. They make incredible products. Um, and so uh, these, everything is kept safe by fuses. Now inside that Lynx Power In, it has uh, mega fuses. And so if anything crazy goes on with any pieces of equipment, that fuse will blow. And those fuses are only like $5 or so, and they're super um, accessible. Like you can get them at O'Reilly's or AutoZone. So if you're out in the boonies, um, it's just best to have one of those on hand. So then we have our Orion Smart. It's a 24-12-30. So this means that uh, whenever you're driving down the road, it will charge our batteries while you're running, along with the solar. And so then that goes over to our EG4 batteries. Now the really cool thing about EG4, people ask me, Jason, why do you use EG4 batteries versus Battleborn or, or others? I do use Battleborn. Um, EG4 has a real uh, has a lot of really great features. They're kind of my um, you know go-to battery. There's some of the features that they have. They have an on-off button. They have a on-off breaker. So if anything crazy goes on, this breaker will flip. It has a BMS, uh, internal BMS. So if anything crazy goes on with the cells, that'll shut them off. Um, and then it also has an internal fire extinguisher. So if if you're afraid that the lithium battery is gonna catch on fire, which I've never heard of one doing that, not an EG4 battery, then that will, the internal fire extinguisher will, you know, explode. So it has this little LED screen, which shows that it, you know, how much, what the voltage is, what the current is, and we're right now we're at 83%. So if any time you need to turn anything off, you can just you know flip these, turn the battery off, store it. Uh, so it makes it, you have a lot of control with these batteries, which I really like. Okay, now so let's go over the inverter. So this is a Victron Multi Plus 2 2X120 inverter. So I've been doing these installations for about, with Victron for about three years, and this is my go-to inverter. And so, there are several reasons why I really, 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 really like this inverter. Let me explain how it works. So right now we have our shore powers over here and it supplies or those go to a automatic transfer switch. Like if you have a generator, that goes to your automatic transfer switch. From your automatic transfer switch, it flips between going, with, if it feels like there's power coming in through the Shore power, it'll flip over to shore power. If it feels your generator is coming on, it'll flip over to your generator. So from there, it goes over to your main breaker panel, where then you have your air conditioner, your microwave, your refrigerator. Um, the way that Victron teaches us to install these systems is right there in the middle, we cut that line and we install our inverter right there. So whenever you are plugged into shore power, your power comes will come into the inverter and then come out of the inverter over to, your, over to your main breaker panels. It'll also charge your batteries down here. So then the second that you unplug from shore power, the, your inverter automatically switches to say, okay, no more shore power, we're gonna start sucking up from our batteries. And it does it just like that, so you don't have to worry about flipping anything off or turning you know, anything on or whatever, it does it all automatically. So it'll start sucking up from your batteries 
and push power over to your main breaker panel. Now your main breaker panel is gonna say, hey, you know what, cool, we got enough power. We're probably still plugged into shore power. So your, your RV is always gonna think that's plugged into shore power. So you can run your air conditioner, your microwave, your refrigerator, probably not all, not all at the same time because um, specifically your air conditioner takes a bunch of power. But that is why I really like this Multi Plus too. And this is a, it's very important for a 50 amp RV that you get this type of inverter, the 2X120. And the reason is that um, on 50 amp RVs, you have leg one and leg two. On, uh, if you were just to get a standard Multi Plus, those only have input for leg one, not leg two. This has an input for leg one and leg two. And so you get, um, so you can pass power comes in through the inverter and out of the inverter. So it's a really, it's, it's super awesome. So, okay, so uh, one last piece of Victron equipment we have is our Serbo GX. So that is right under here. So this is the brains behind the whole operation. So you also may be wondering, what is this? This right here is an automatic fire extinguisher. And so they use those uh, under your car hood, just in case you have like a car fire. I just like to use them because it's a, it's a really great uh, safety precaution. So I put these in all my full installs. And so, so then from our servo, it is connected to our touch, Victron Touch 70. So on here, it gives you a whole lot of information on the flow of power. So right now, if we were connected to shore power, this red box would show that we're connected to shore power. Uh, it tells us right now we are at 89% battery. It shows us what our PV or our solar is at right now. It is 10 o'clock and we're getting about 100, it kind of fluctuates just because of clouds and stuff like that. But out of, you know, 2,600 watts of solar that we have up there, we're getting about 13, 1,400 watts coming in. And, you know, hey, not too bad for 10 a.m. So then over here, it has our AC loads. So our AC loads is anything that's going on, any power inside the motorhome. And these little ghosty dots show that if we are just a flow of power like going into the battery and how much is all coming out so our dc power down here when we turn on our engine it'll show that this is powering up this will be providing power over to our battery we are going to start testing out our air conditioners so just installed a furion chill cube 18,000 BTU, super high, efficient air conditioner. We're gonna see how much our Furion Chill Cube is pulling. So let's, oh yeah, there we go. Yay, good job, <laughs> Furion. Okay, so let's look over here. Now that is pretty cold. I wish I had a thermometer with me, but we don't. So a typical RV air conditioner takes about 1,500 watts to run but this air conditioner uh is way more efficient and instead of being like 13,500 BTUs or 15,000 BTUs and those are kind of the standard ones and it takes uh 1500 watts to run this Furion Chill Cube takes about 700 watts to run and is 18,000 BTUs so it takes less energy and cools the air a lot faster. So right now we are getting, getting about 1400 watts of solar coming in and we are running an air conditioner. So we're charging our battery while running our air conditioner, which is pretty insane. And it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, so all that to say, this RV is completely off grid where my dad can just be out in the boonies and BLM land or national forest 
run his air conditioner, have as much power as he needs. So I hope this helps in understanding RVs and Victron solar systems.